So this might sound familiar. New city, unfurnished apartment, and all that you have with you is a suitcase. So you go to Ikea and you wind your way through their maze of furniture exhibits and you get to a room filled with boxes labeled in various Scandinavian names that you're not quite sure matched up with the exhibit that you just saw, but the drawing on the box looks close enough, right? So we make it through the line, and we drive our box home. We open it up, and what do we find? Some instructions, some screws, maybe some legs, tabletop, and an Allen key to screw it all together. So the first thing we probably do is we hold a leg up to the tabletop and put a screw in the hole and just start spinning the key until it's all the way in. And after doing this a few more times, hey, we've got a table. And you really hope that you were given extra screws and you didn't just miss something. But let's say that, you know, this table, well, it's kind of nice. It's not exactly what we were looking for. Maybe it's a little too tall. Maybe it could use another leg in the middle. Maybe it could use another surface underneath the top. But we're kind of stuck, right? We can only put the screws where there are holes. And we're only given so many screws to begin with anyway. So you just shrug your shoulders and move on, right? This is just starter furniture. But funnily enough, how you put together that IKEA table is actually not that different from how a lot of chemists put together important molecules like pharmaceuticals. There are various places on the molecules called functional groups that are like the drilled holes in your IKEA table leg. You can use them to attach various different parts, but if you try to stick anything on anywhere else than these functional groups, then you're gonna have about as much luck as you would with your IKEA table. But wouldn't it be great if we could attach anything anywhere? If we could have unlimited freedom to put whatever we want, wherever we want. Maybe we could finally make a table that would fit the space, and perhaps more importantly, maybe we could make a drug that treats the disease that we're looking to treat. The difference between drugs treating different diseases can be just the addition or subtraction of a few atoms, and like in real estate, in pharmaceuticals, the location of these atoms is everything. So if we had a way to selectively install these atoms away from the functional groups, away from these pre-drilled holes in your plywood furniture, this would be incredibly powerful. And this is the grand challenge that the NSF, Center for Chemical Innovation, Center for Selective CH Functionalization, is trying to achieve. In the background, that was Box Air on the G-String, played by Lewis Sorrow from the Royalty Free Music Project, museopen.org. My name is Julian West. I'm a PhD candidate at Princeton University 
and a graduate student member of the NSF Center for Selective CH Functionalization.